can put in file statements in SAS. So suppose first I wanted to write something to the log window. I know this isn't that exciting, but the put statement can be used in conjunction with the file statement in a much nicer way in a minute. Um, so if I just run this data set and then say I wanted to print it out, what would happen? Well, there's the printed data set. I've got a bunch of variables. Um, when I run this put statement, what happens is it writes those variables on the log window itself. So when I go and look at my log window, you can see I ran this print procedure, and this stuff is usual and customary, but this is what actually happened from that print statement, from the put statement, excuse me. Um, it, it put all those variables right there on the log window. So I know that's not really that exciting, but Here's just one more example. I'm going to run this. I'm not going to print out the data set, but you can see what the data set is right here. Um, I'm going to put the name, and then you can write uh, phrases and things, whatever you want to write, and then say score. Um, so it should read, Susan has English score 85 at, on the first line, because score is that last variable. Jennifer has English score 100, and so on. So when we go back here and look at it, sure enough, there you have Susan, Jennifer, and Stephen. So what's the point of this put statement? Well, the real point is when you're working with permanent SAS data sets. So I'm going to go ahead and define my library name again to be this. This is my thumb drive, and that's a folder in my thumb drive that I've created, my SAS. Um, and here's the first permanent SAS data set that I created, mydata.test. You notice that test is the name of the data set, whereas mydata is the name of the library that I created up here. And that's how I'm going to refer to this data set from now on. So suppose I wanted to create um, a .dat file that had um, this data in it. So I entered the data into SAS to begin with. I didn't bring it in from some in-file statement, but what I want to do is create this .dat file. You can do that pretty easily with this file statement. And I'm going to put these three variables, all three of the variables that I have, in this data set. And what it says is it creates a space delimited file. So if I had had, say, someone's name and then their age, um, name being the first variable, then things wouldn't be lined up nicely in columns. You would just have a space between each variable, a single space. Um, so let me show you what happens with this comma delimited file.